Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chauncea. Um, as always, I pray that you are doing well. I wanted to come on here just to share a brief word of encouragement with someone um, and a word of instruction. Um, I was reading the book of Genesis chapter 2, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. And it says, Thus the heavens and the earth and all the host of them were finished. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had done. Verse 3, then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it he rested from all his work, which God had created and made. And I wanted to point out the Holy Spirit began to minister to me that the blessing comes after you choose to rest. I want to point out verses one in chapter two of Genesis. The Holy Spirit just gave me this great revelation. It says, thus the heavens and the earth and all the host of them were finished okay and then it goes into verse number two and three where it talks about after the lord had completed his work he rested so verse number one the holy spirit just literally dropped this bomb of revelation and i'm so appreciative of you holy spirit the work has been finished okay everything that you have been standing in need of and the things that you have been seeking and petitioning god for it is already finished okay that is why god is telling you to rest stop trying to labor and toil for something that I have already completed. I have already established, okay? What I need you to do is to rest. And I'll touch on that a little later in this video, what it means to rest, because everyone's rest could look different depending on where you are at in your current season and according to God's will for your life. Verse two on the latter portion of it, it says, he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had done. So in verse two, it literally tells us that God rested. And then in verse three, we see that after God rested, he blessed that day. It says, then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it, he rested from all his work. Okay. Just real quick, the Holy Spirit pointed out to me the word sanctified in verse number three. And I looked it up in Strong's Greek and Hebrew concordance, and it means to consecrate, sanctify, prepare, dedicate, be hallowed, be holy, be sanctified and be separate, okay? For those that have been feeling like you're extremely isolated, this is why God is wanting to consecrate you, to separate you so that you can be holy for this thing that he is preparing you to enter into. He is preparing you, whether that's through a fast that he's calling you to enter into or whether he's calling you to spend more time with him. There is a reason why he's doing this, okay? He wants to prepare you, dedicate you, consecrate you, separate you so that you can be sanctified sanctified, holy, and hallowed for his purpose and for his divine glory. So the Holy Spirit was just beginning to minister to me that the blessing is not going to proceed rest. The blessing will come after you make the decision to rest. Whatever rest looks like for you, for some, it may be just simply trusting God and letting go of the outcome, letting go of how you think things should go or the timeline. For some, it may possibly mean literally physically resting, okay? You're overworking yourself. You're overexerting yourself. You're overwhelming yourself. For some, it may be the instructions that God is telling you to do or to follow. That's a form of rest. Whatever your rest looks like, take this word back to God because he's saying that when you rest, the blessing will come after that. It'll be a domino effect when you rest.